Hi friends, it's Miss Michelle again with another Earth Day activity for you to try. So we've been talking a lot about Earth Day and how it's a day that we can think about how we can make the Earth or the place that we live a cleaner, more beautiful place to live. And one of the things that we've been talking about a lot this week is recycling and trying to find other uses for things that we would otherwise put in the garbage. Things like glass and plastic and metal and paper, those are all things that can be made into new things and so they don't go into the garbage and into the ground. And one of the things that we all get at home in our mailboxes is something called junk mail. And I bet your moms and dads get junk mail almost every day. And junk mail are magazines and maybe letters and just different things in our mailbox that we didn't ask for or that we didn't need. And so most of the time they just go right into the recycle bin. But I was thinking that it would be nice if we could do something else with our junk mail. So with mom and dad's permission, save some junk mail, maybe have them set aside or take it out of the recycle bin if it's already there. And once you have one or two pieces of junk mail or catalogs that mom and dad don't need and have given you permission to use, you can take them. And my younger friends can very simply tear the junk mail up into smaller pieces. You're gonna make little tiny pieces with it like this. Now, my older toddler friends, some of you have been using scissors at school. You may be using scissors at home. You could also take your scissors and cut little bits of paper like this. And you wanna make the pieces pretty small. You don't want really big, big pieces. And I'll show you why in a minute. And I have a magazine here. And the nice thing about magazines is a lot of the time they're bright, beautiful colors. So we have orange on here. So I think I'll cut up some orange off of my catalog that we're done with, like this. There's some red in the front, like this, so I can cut up some red. And it doesn't have to be cut any special way as long as the pieces are pretty small, like this. Now, what you can do once you are done cutting your pieces is you can take another piece of paper and it can even be a piece of scrap paper or a piece of cardboard that was in your recycle bin. And maybe with mom and dad's help, they can draw a picture on it for you. I drew a picture of a flower. You don't even have to draw a picture though if you don't want to. You can make just a design. And what you're going to do is take a glue stick or some glue if you have it at home. And the pieces of paper that you cut up from the junk mail and the catalogs that mom and dad are done with. And you can take the pieces and glue them onto your picture. Or in my case, I'm going to glue them onto my flower. And I'm gonna go all around and maybe color the center. And then when you're done with your cutting or your tearing and gluing the pieces on, you could take crayons or markers and decorate your picture even more. And you can make a beautiful picture just by using the junk mail that your mom and dad get in the mailbox every day. So I hope you like this activity. And if you do make a picture using your junk mail, I would love to see it. So maybe you can have mom and dad um, take a picture and you can send it to me or you can send an email with a picture or you can even share it during one of our Zoom calls. That would be pretty great too. So I hope you really like this activity and have a lot of fun tearing and cutting and gluing and just remember to get mom and dad's permission before you cut any paper or catalogs up, okay? All right, friends, I hope you're having a great week. I miss you and I hope to see you all soon. Bye-bye.